Hi guys, this is David. I want to uh, go ahead and make this video today about a tour of my van. Uh, one of my subscribers asked to do uh, another tour of my van, like an update type tour, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. Uh, keep in mind too that my van is kind of messy right now. <laughs> so I need to get some time and get in here some time and get some things organized and stuff, but uh, I'll see if I can still go over most stuff with you. But it's going to probably still be a little bit short too because I got to pee, so I got to get out of here and get to the restroom. And, um, plus it's pretty hot today too, so I want to get in the library and get in where it's cool and stuff today. Alright, first of all, I've got uh, my cooler right here, which is my main cooler. I've got the ice in there that lasts about up to four days, depending on how hot it is outside. And um, it's working pretty good. It's kind of dirty right now too, I guess. I need to clean that up a little bit too, but it gets the job done anyways. Um, I've got my tool stuff right here. I've got like the nuts and bolts and screws and um, some cheap WD-40 type stuff, uh, my air compressor, um, I've got a, a drill that I think is somewhere else in this van, not near as well, not near right now. Um, right there I've got my deep cycle battery and I've got that hooked up to my inverter, it's a 700 watt inverter and a 1500 peak I believe. Which actually I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I'm not going to be using it for a while. I'm going to be in the library for most of the day anyways. Um, I've also got this rigged up or hooked up to 12 volt. I've hooked up a 12 volt attachment to it for um, for my um, 12 volt fan which is right there. And after so long the fan started to actually make a big time screech noise or uh, well yeah I guess it's what you call it, like a screeching type noise and it's like real loud and real annoying so uh, what I did was I went ahead and sprayed that down with some WD-40 and it does help that to solve that problem for a while um, there's my charge controller again and of course too you guys have seen this on my um, other video as far as my uh, solar video so if you want you can go ahead and check that out uh, this right here of course is my um, curtain for privacy I just use those uh, things right there the um, the, the clips and I'll just clip it up up, up on each side um, I've got an extra chair there but I never even really use that because I bought that from a thrift store but so I don't know I might have to donate it, it again or something someday we'll see but anyways um, back there I need to throw away that pillow I took some girl to a homeless shelter one time and she forgot a pillow, pillow in here and uh, so I'm gonna have to just throw that away or just drop it off somewhere maybe somebody you know pick it up or something whatever um, I've got my cooler there my um, homemade um, air conditioner you can see that as well from my past video uh, here I've got a multimeter this is what I use to uh, measure my deep cycle battery and see how good it's doing uh, in this section right here where that multimeter is sitting at is like my um, junk drawer I guess is what you can call it. My junk drawer where I got a whole bunch of knickknacks and uh, some magazines and all kinds of crap in there. I had bought the alarm clock right there that you might be able to see uh, because when my phone was turned off, or not turned off, but when my uh, uh, phone was not working, the one I originally ordered from Amazon, then I still needed to, still needed to be able to tell time, so I got that for 10 bucks from, uh, from Walmart. Uh, up here is my um, pantry. So I've got all kinds of food stuff up there. I've got some pasta. I've got some like peanut butter and jelly stuff up there. Some stuff like uh, canned roast beef. Um, a few things like ravioli. I've got stuff up there too, like my butane cans that I use for my uh, camp stove. Uh, I've got my. This is pretty good stuff. I've got um, maple and brown sugar uh, oatmeal. I happen to love that stuff. Now, it's crazy because when I was a kid, though, I hated oatmeal. But now, as an adult, I love oatmeal, especially that kind. I do need to try some other sometime, but we'll get to that later on down the line, I guess. Um, up there, as you can see, I've got one of my lights. Turn it on, just have a little bit extra light in here. Because I've got my shade up there as well right now, trying to block out some of that sun. Um, here's my camp stove. So yeah, I still use that, and I use it on a regular basis. Except for right now, though it's been so hot, I haven't cooked here in probably about a week now. Um, over there, I've got myself a four-way going on to change some tires. I've got myself a bottle jacket here somewhere. I can't find it right now. Well, I could find it probably if I look for it. 
um, in here I've got my solar charger not solar charger but um, my battery charger you guys seen that in the video the other day as well as far as how it works uh, I got an extra thing in there as far as charging up my drill um, got some work boots here been using those for when I was working at labor ready actually there's my drill right there um, got my bucket right here as far as washing up with um, got my other bucket over there as far as uh, doing some laundry if I want to but lately though since I've had a little bit extra money I've been doing laundry at the laundromat just to make it a little bit easier on me um, right here is where I have my um, one of my trash bags I've got another trash bag up there as well too up front I've got myself a mirror right there that I use as far as um, uh, shaving with and stuff like that over there as you can see I've got myself a um, power strip so I've got my cell phone uh, charger hooked up to that and I've got another extension cord type thing hooked up to it to where I can use this right back here if I want to that way I don't have to go up front as far as being able to charge anything uh, up here I've got some books that surprisingly uh, stays there in place while I drive around which I don't know how it works like that or how it does it but it does see if I can shed a little bit of light over there this light here is a little bit dim right now because I probably need to charge up the batteries again I've got some AAA batteries in there I could charge up with it uh, here I've got all kinds of knick-knack stuff like I've got um, uh, some spoons I've got um, some cotton balls if I ever want to make some fire starter type stuff someday and plus for um, you know, like these with rubber alcohol and stuff like that I've got some cups and stuff I've got some plates and bowls and here as you can see is a small crock pot I haven't used it yet because I haven't had the time and the money to get anything like a pot roast or anything but later down the line I'll try to see if I can get that used pretty soon uh, of course I got my regular um, uh, pan right there it's a saute pan that can be used for both uh, boiling water and also uh, frying stuff if I need to uh, back here I've got myself some thick um, tin foil which is what I used to line up that um, pan with so I don't have to worry about washing that pan all the time up there I got some more knick-knack stuff as far as like hand warmers I've got um, uh, another little small stove that somebody sent to me that I haven't actually used because I've been using the other camp stove all the time um, down here I've got my stuff like my shampoo and my um, uh, body wash and stuff like that I've got my toothpaste and toothbrush and stuff in there and that container there along with my um, my uh, trim my beard trimmer back there put away I've got my um, mr. buddy heater I don't know if you can see it or not but it's back there for sure um, here is a little bit of a mess but I've got my detergent I've got my um, laundry bag and my uh, coat that I used last uh, winter time but I might just go ahead and throw that away later and see if I can get a different one because I only paid like two bucks for this anyways and it is a dirty mess right now so I'm not even worry about it just might get something diff different later on down the line um, for a bit of security I've got this bad boy this right here is like a small sword actually so in case I need some security I've got that going on um, back here I've got um, my containers I've got one there at the bottom and one there at the top I've got my sleeping bag here of course too my, um, my blue sleeping bag and what I did too was this thing right here as far as the foam I went ahead and saved that that was from the solar panel and I went ahead and saved that it's um, probably about a quarter of an inch thick as far as how thick it is but that way it does give a little bit extra uh, cushion as far as on this um, bed that I've got because I don't have any real mattress or anything I've just got the sleeping bag and I've got this cushion like I said I've saved and I've got my um, green um, army sleeping bag that I use in the winter time when it was real cold out so that's what I'm using as far as sleeping on uh, I think that's it for the main tour um, in here I've got my um, water this is where I keep all my water at as far as what I use for my solar shower um, of course as you can see I've got this pretty much full right now or well, over halfway full anyways um, so yeah and uh, I think that's about it so that's a quick tour of my van and uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns let me know 
Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, one other thing I guess I can talk about real quick too is, uh, as you can see there, I've still got my um, nuts and bolts there as far as my um, original setup as far as on my uh, solar panel. I was going to order a mounting kit that uh, is supposed to come with it that, um, later down the line. Well, when I first got my solar panel, I was going to order one separate, but I didn't get around to it. But this is kind of working out good anyways like it is because of the fact it's low profile. Uh, you can look back on my solar um, setup video as well, and you can see how it's sitting on my van. You can see how low profile it is. Um, so that way kind of a kind of makes a difference there because if I did get that mounting kit it would be up higher and it wouldn't be as low profile as it is and it's holding on there pretty good so I figure I might as well go ahead and keep on there for right now then. but yep that's it guys if you have any questions or concerns let me know I'll get back to you as soon as I can and thanks for watching guys and hit the thumbs up button and have a great day